Welcome to the Solar Coaster, a renewable energy theme talk show right here in lovely Maui County. All right, so we're here at the Franklin booth at RE Plus 2023. I'm here with, can I see your badge, sir? Brandon, Brandon Sanchez, what's going on, Brandon? I'm doing well, nice to meet you. All right, I just threw the term Jenny at him, and he was like, what the heck are you talking about, Josh? And uh, we met also another friend, interesting connection here, a buddy of ours, Steve Landine, back in Maui, has one of your staff, his friends here. Uh, so this was, we have actually a short list this year because we've been doing a lot of other activities. Usually we're booth to booth to booth, Franklin was on our short list for a lot of reasons. Justin had reached out earlier to talk about some of the uh, technical adaptations, but also, or ad advancements, but also uh, just trying to understand this is actually a pretty rare thing with this A gate. So give us a sense of what's going on with uh, Franklin and what you're excited about. Sure, I'll let you take a look at the system if you want to walk over this way. <clears throat> what you're seeing here, and apologies for my voice, we're in Vegas and lost it last night. This is our A power down here. These are our batteries. The A gate is what you're seeing above. This is our combiner box, your gateway. Everything's going in here. So from here, this is the all-in-one solution for Franklin Old Home. So with one A gate, you can do 15 A powers. One A power is 13.6 kWh of storage. It's an LFP chemistry. From there, you look at your A gate. I'm gonna, do you wanna get closer? We can open it up? Yeah, sure, okay. So what's special about our A-Gate and what a lot of our competitors are not doing is that we have three smart circuits. And what's great about that is you can manually disconnect, let's say, a heavy load. Let's say there's an outage and you have your certain mode of operation set, but you, let's say there's a hurricane coming or something and you don't want your pool pump to turn on or you don't want to charge your EV. Well, you can manually switch that off in the app. And so that's all built in in the A-Gate. We have generator capability. So your genset or your, your Jenny comes into here. And so it's a seamless integration. So let's say you have an outage event and you want your generator to kick on at a certain percentage to charge your batteries. Boom, let's say it hits 40%, switches on, charges your batteries. So it's just a great, very easy to use system, very seamless. Um, in terms of the, the user experience as a homeowner, it's, it's really unlocking what we call energy freedom. And so from there, with energy freedom, you want to be able to live your life as you can. You know, let's just say, as I keep mentioning, there's storms, there's uh, earthquakes, whatever sort of natural disaster event can cause outages in your life or disruptions in your life. Let's say you work from home. Well, with our Franklin Whole Home System, you don't have to deal with that. You're, you're not only getting energy resiliency, you're getting the freedom that you want to continue to live your life as you do, just uninterrupted. So that's kind of us in a nutshell. There's a few other things that we can get into the nitty gritty, but we'll keep it high level for now. Uh, we're going to get into the weeds. <laughs> <laughs> I was just stacking up all the questions I have for you or, I, I, you know, just general ideas. Watch your head. Can we close this for a second? It's just a supplement. All right. So this is a really great diagram. You guys have done a really cool job here, by the way. I like the way you've laid it out. So what I see here is you got solar production, you got inversion, and you have the A gate behind that. And you have the meter over here. And this is the A hub. Right? And the A-Hub is kind of the new advancement, right? It is. Okay. Now back to, and when we think about the A-Gate, we're saying that this is called, the whole unit here is called the A-Gate, which is kind of like the controls of the entire system, right? This is the brains of the system. But this is not an inverter, that's over here. The inverter is built in. The inverter is built in here. So it's a 13.6 kWh of storage. But that's your battery inverter, but you also have a solar inverter. So, so that would be a separate. Case, separate, we're, yeah. We're agnostic in the sense that we can retrofit. Right, right. Right, but point being that you've got a solar system, you've got a solar inverter, that's, let's say that's anybody, right? And then you've got your A gate and you've got your internal inversion here because it's AC coupled, right? You got your LFP, you said it was 13 and change LFP, right? Okay, great. 
Now, what's amazing about this is that I saw that you had prime, like large load controls, but then you also have a span control panel over here. So you're saying, hey, if you want to get more nuanced and you want to have full control, I happen to have one of these in my house, full control, then we can work with that. Is that right? Exactly. So one of our partners is is Span, and so we have been working in conjunction with them because there's uh, such a demand for getting more controls. We effectively have a mini Span built into the A gate, but for those of the people that want more control, they can unlock themselves with the Span panel, and so that's why you see this up on the wall today. I'm really glad we came here because they've done a heck of a job laying this out, man. Okay, so then you've got. You got functionality up here. You're producing. You're inverting. You've got your 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 main load. Sorry for touching your equipment. You got your main uh, uh, load controls up here. You got your more nuanced third-party load controls over here, in a sense, right? Then you move over to something where you have this uh, A hub, which is really fascinating because if if I heard you correctly, now you're saying that you can. This I see a fuel cell that looks like a lot, a lot like a guy's fuel cell that I know, and I see a car here, right? Maybe that's a, a, a bolt or something. And so, am I seeing that you're saying we can take in power from a fuel cell and from an EV? Now, is this coming in via AC or DC, so, um, or either? I won't speak to too technical. We just we just announced this. You are talking to the marketing guy, so I'm not going to go with super nitty. Okay. But what I will tell you is that our new A hub will unlock vehicle to load, and so this just gives you option, options or flexibility into different energy sources. So your EV, your standalone generator, gets directly into the A hub, and that feeds right into your A gate. So once again, that's that brains the smart home of our whole system, and so it, that's high level of what they have in. So we got to find out, we definitely want to have a little bit more nuanced conversation about this at one point in the future, because this is really um, like, let's say pro level stuff. I don't see a lot of this game being played out there yet. I see. We are the first who have come to the market with a vehicle to load any sort of hardware component that works within a residential energy storage system. So this, is, this was just announced two days ago. Now what's interesting is I see you have, I don't see a generator being illustrated. Oh, you have a generator, of course you do. But a fuel cell, as an example, a fuel cell, I happen to know a lot about this, not a lot, I'll change that language. I happen to know a little bit about this because I'm talking with a company that looks very similar about integrating a fuel cell to my system. And what's fun about that is you get 3x the efficiency from a generator, it's quiet, it's autonomous, meaning you don't have to go out there and, and start it up or anything like that. So it's very exciting fuel cells. That's a backup to your backup. So instead of having to, it's another mechanism to extend your, your, your let's say, power with this system without getting additional batteries on home. And then the EV, the V to H, V to H, is what makes this really exciting because that's a similar type of conversation. It's radical, man. And then the Jenny's over here somewhere. Where's the Jenny? Ah, oh, there's the Jenny, Jay. There's a Jenny. Look at that. But the Jenny goes right into the to the original A gate. You don't need the A hub for the Jenny. No, we do not. We do not. So uh, that's still, once again, that's just the central piece of our, our whole ecosystem. So this right here is what's called the whole ball of wax. Right? <laughs> this is everything, man. Good job on putting this thing together. This is crazy. Unbelievable. What are your, any, any final thoughts? Anything at all? So there's a lot of competitors out there. Um, everyone touts their energy independence. I'm going to keep hammering home that energy freedom. If you want to still maintain that same lifestyle that you have, whether you're work from home or you want to do anything that's going to potentially not disrupt your life that you're used to, you should definitely look at Franklin. I am so glad that we came up here and I'm really stoked about the way you have laid this out. It, it's like you've got your own ecosystem that you're focusing on this kind of core value proposition, but then you're also saying, hey, we can integrate with all these great tools and we're playing, we're playing nicely with others. So fantastic. Thanks for your time today. Of course. Thank you so much. All right. Aloha, guys. That's Franklin.